What's up everyone? Our lesson today is coming from the Gospel of Matthew in chapter 25. And our lesson is for Christ the King Sunday, which is today. Now, Christ the King Sunday is a day that we celebrate Jesus as the victorious King over the whole world. Christ the King Sunday is the day where we see him as victorious over everything that he has done. I think that's pretty cool. It means that not only is God powerful, but God is the one who loves us and gave his life for us. That's our king. So before we start, I want to read a psalm for us from Psalm 100. And it says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Amen. So I'm in the courtyard right now, so it makes me think of that imagery of coming into his courts, into his gates, with thanksgiving. Okay, so we are in Matthew chapter 25 again for our lesson, and Jesus tells us another parable. Now this parable, I want you to be thinking about those two greatest commandments that he's told us. What are they? To love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and mind and strength. And number two is to love your neighbor as yourself. Now I want you to keep those in mind as I read. And this is what Jesus says. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he sits, he will sit on the throne of his glory and all the nations will be gathered together before him and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep, the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right hand. Where's your right hand? This is my right hand. And he will put the goats on his left hand. This is your left hand. Because you can make an L, remember? And then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you are blessed by my father. Come and enter into the kingdom that has been prepared for you. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. And they looked at him and said, Lord, when did we do this? <laughs> they were confused. They said, Lord, when did we do all those things? And he said, I tell you that if you did it for any of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, then you did it to me. And he says the same thing to the people on his left. He said, when I was thirsty, you didn't give me something to drink. When I was hungry, you didn't give me something to eat. I was naked in prison. I was sick and you didn't help me. And you know, they were confused too. There's, they would say, Lord, when did we see you like this? I don't remember seeing Jesus on the street. Have you ever seen Jesus on the street? And they said, I don't understand. And Jesus said, whatever you didn't do for one of these people, then you didn't do it for me. So what is Jesus' main idea here? He's saying that all the people that you see around you, even the person you see in the mirror, that you can see Jesus in that person. And that if we show love to somebody, then we're showing love to Jesus. That's amazing, it's as simple as that. So Jesus is reminding us that he may be in heaven, he's sitting on the throne, right? But he's also 
inside all of the people that we see around us. And so if we want to love our neighbor, then it's the same thing as loving Jesus. So we've been talking a lot about serving other people, haven't we? And I just want to remind you that whenever we give food to somebody who needs it, or we help somebody who needs it, or somebody may be upset and we give them a hug, or whatever it is, we know somebody in prison and we go to visit them, that is the same thing as doing those things for Jesus. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I think it's incredible. So I want you to think about some of the things that Jesus said and imagine if you've seen people like that before, have you been around people who are sick? Have you ever been around someone that was hungry? I want you, next time that you see those things, I want you to think about seeing Jesus in them. And I want us to learn to see Jesus all around us. There's all kinds of small things we can do or big things we can do to serve the people around us. And so, especially as we go into Thanksgiving and the holiday season with Advent and Christmas, I want you to be, I want you to remember that Jesus is all around us and we can show that we love him in the way that we treat others. All right, well, let's say our children's creed together before we leave. I want you to say it with me. I believe in God the Father who created me and all the world. I believe in God the Son who saved me on the cross and loves me. I believe in God the Holy Spirit who is in me and gives me life. I believe in one God who lives forever and ever. Amen. All right, well, I hope you have a good week and I hope to see you soon. Bye.